First of all, I would like to thank the organizers for inviting me here. Uh, pleased to see you, Alasa, again. So I think that uh, uh, a clear message that uh, we should take from the pandemic crisis is that uh, we cannot uh, leave our planet unprepared for the next big uh, crisis, which is a climate crisis. We saw what, what happened to, to our planet uh, when uh, it was unprepared uh, for such a hygiene, uh, for such a pandemic, for that crisis. Uh, so we cannot close our eyes, close uh, our ears uh, to climate change and uh, to the consequences of, of the climate change to our everyday life and to our society and to our uh, civilization itself. So uh, I think that um, uh, we all should do more in order to mitigate the consequences, the causes of the climate change, of course, uh, which is to reduce uh, CO2 emissions. Uh, so, uh, this is the big uh, effort that we all uh, must do, uh, the effort that uh, is uh, very much described, uh, described through the European Green Deal uh, and the European Green uh, Strategy, Green Transition Strategy, which poses uh, some quite uh, ambitious targets for 2030 and for 2050. You know that we should uh, reduce CO2 emissions by 2030 uh, by 55% versus 1990. And of course, uh, we, uh, we have designed, we have uh, planned that uh, Europe should be the first carbon neutral uh, continent by uh, 2050. And let me say that Greece is, and the Greek government and uh, uh, Kyriakos Mitsotakis, the prime minister of Greece, <laughs> shares the same vision. Uh, I think that uh, this uh, uh, has been proven by his announcement uh, during the September of 2019, uh, during the UN uh, conference for the climate there, where he announced that uh, Greece is going to decarbonize uh, its uh, energy, electricity uh, generation uh, mix uh, earlier than any other European member states. And uh, this uh, proves uh, our commitment and our focus and, uh, of course, our efforts towards uh, carbon neutrality. So, uh, currently, we have uh, estimated that uh, all our lignite coal uh, power plants will be phased out by 2028. Uh, more, uh, uh, more specifically, they are going to be closed by 2023, apart from one, the new one in Ptolemaida 5, uh, which is going to be converted into a natural gas power plant uh, in 2025, according to PPC's uh, announcements. And of course, we have, um, we have uh, planned and we currently implement a very, very ambitious uh, energy strategy. So we have uh, estimated that uh, we will need an, uh, approximately 44 billion euro uh, in investments, in green uh, uh, energy investments and in infrastructure in order to uh, arrive to 2030 target. Uh, what is our target for 2030? Uh, as Greece, we, have, uh, we, we want that 70% uh, of our energy consumption, electricity, uh, consumption in 2030 uh, to be generated from renewables. So this is not an easy task, of course. Uh, it's not a, a walk in the park, as uh, my friend, uh, the minister from Malta said uh, earlier. So uh, we have to install more than 10 gigawatts of new renewable sources. Uh, and they, that is that uh, we have uh, uh, introduced uh, renewables auctions. We are going to uh, expand the renewables auctions up to 2025. Uh, we are promoting, of course, and we are pushing forward the uh, establishment, the installation of uh, offshore uh, wind parks. Uh, we want also to uh, uh, construct and to install uh, energy storage systems, batteries, and uh, hydro pump uh, projects. Uh, let me say that uh, we have uh, allocated uh, around uh, half a billion euro uh, from the RRF, from the Resilient Recovery Fund, to support energy storage systems. Uh, and of course, energy efficiency is another pillar of our strategy. Uh, we want to uh, energy upgrade uh, around 600,000 buildings by 2030, uh, till the end of this month, uh, we are going to open the new platform for the energy upgrading program. We call it Ex Economo, uh, means save energy uh, for the households. Uh, 50,000 households 
will be able to upgrade, energy upgrade uh, their homes uh, according to this uh, program. Uh, uh, electromobility is another uh, uh, pillar. We have, uh, we estimate and we want that all, uh, one out of three uh, new car sales in 2030 to be a full electric vehicle. Uh, let me say that um, a few years ago, 10 years ago, maybe very few electric vehicles were sold around the world. Currently, almost 5%, I think, uh, worldwide of the cars uh, sold uh, are being uh, electric vehicles. Uh, 50, 60, 70% of the cars sold in Norway, Norway are electric vehicles. So we see where the, 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 the globe is, is, is moving. Uh, the other thing has to do with infrastructure, because to increase the penetration of renewables, we have to upgrade our energy grids, both in terms of electricity transfer and distribution, but also natural gas, because in all this effort, natural gas uh, plays a very important role as a transition, transitional fuel, uh, because we have to maintain the flexibility of the system and, of course, the uh, security of supply. And uh, this year, during this summer, uh, I personally lived many days, many successive days, with temperatures of more than 47 degrees shows again the climate crisis that uh, that climate crisis has already arrived and knocking our door and uh, during those days we had all our power plants uh, working we didn't have any wind during uh, uh, those uh, heat waves uh, we didn't have uh, sun during the night so we had uh, to uh, but at the end, at, at, on the other hand we had uh, energy demand we had electricity demand which uh, also uh, uh, break uh, any re record in Greece during those days, this year, this summer. So it, 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 that shows that um, we cannot move from uh, the current situation regarding the energy generation to the next uh, uh, stage without a transition period. And during this transition period, natural gas will play an important role. So in order to uh, secure uh, the supply, we have to diversify routes, we have to diversify the sources of supply for natural gas. That's why we're increasing and we're upgrading the energy natural gas interconnections with neighboring countries. Also, we are, we are planning to construct, to build a new FSRU, uh, an LNG terminal in north of Greece, in Alexandropolis, uh, together with the upgrading of Revithusa in Attica, that will uh, uh, make us uh, feeling more comfortable and more secure regarding the supply of, uh, of the LNG. Let, just, let me say that uh, um, a few years ago, uh, mainly we were importing, uh, 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 we were importing and we were receiving natural gas just from one route from one supplier. Right now, 18% of our natural gas uh, imports came from uh, through TAP from Azerbaijan. 40% uh, almost last year came uh, from LNG loads. Uh, and 40% uh, of those LNG uh, uh, loads uh, came from the US. So that uh, shows uh, that uh, our strategy uh, has uh, tangible results. Uh, they have been a great job here and with the assistance, of course, with uh, Ambassador Payat, who supports a lot this strategy. Uh, there has been a great job in uh, uh, establishing a new natural gas interconnection with Bulgaria. So IGB, the connection, Greece-Bulgaria interconnection pipeline is going to be ready by the end of this year and fully operational by mid of 2020. 22, we're expanding electricity interconnections with uh, Bulgaria, with uh, North Macedonia. Um, this week, this uh, month, we expect uh, that uh, we're going to sign a, a memorandum of understanding with Egypt for the construction of another electricity interconnection, which going, is going to uh, bring green energy uh, from Egypt to Greece and through Greece to uh, the rest of uh, Europe. So we want Greece to be an energy hub, not only in terms of natural gas, but also uh, in terms of green energy, green electricity. 
Uh, all those are things that uh, con, uh, let's say consist our, our, our strategy towards energy transition and, and carbon uh, neutrality. Uh, of course, all these projects must be cost effective because the other thing that uh, maybe is uh, in the minds that uh, in the minds of the people that currently follow us, watching us, is the electricity prices. Yesterday, the electricity price in, in Italy, the wholesale price exceeded 200 euro per megawatt, arrived at 270, 200, sorry, 207 euro per megawatt hour in Italy. Uh, of course, this is this is uh, caused by uh, things that we all are, uh, we all are aware. Of. The increasing prices in, in the gas, mainly in the natural gas, the booming uh, increase in the natural gas, and of course a small part in the uh, because of the increase in CO2 uh, emissions. But this is a problem uh, for the uh, for the uh, governments. This is an issue that we have to tackle. We have to to show to our people, to our citizens, to the European citizens that we care about them. During this transition process, there are going to be a turbulent uh, 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 circumstances like the one that we live currently. Those are short-term, uh, of course, uh, periods that maybe energy prices will uh, skyrocketing. So uh, we have to do something. In Greece, we took immediate, uh, immediately measures in order to help the households, to support them against those uh, skyrocketing increases in the electricity prices. We're going to do the same if necessary for uh, natural gas and for uh, oil, which is used uh, to heat our homes. But something must be uh, happen, must be uh, taken, an action must be taken at the central European level. We cannot leave a demagogy, we cannot leave a populism uh, to uh, increase uh, the, the voices that green transition is responsible for these prices. Green transition, European green transition strategy uh, mm -hmm. solves this problem. Because if we had 70% of the electricity coming from the renewables, then we would have much lower prices, energy prices, electricity prices. Right now, uh, energy, uh, electricity, which is ge generated from gas or from, from coal, is four and five times more expensive than the electricity that comes from the sun or from the wind. So the, the, the European green energy uh, uh, strategy uh, gives a permanent solution to the problem of the electricity prices, of course, to the environmental problem, okay, which is the most important because, after all, we have to, 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 to tackle this issue and mitigate, mitigate the causes of the uh, climate plan. So, uh, Greece is present. Uh, the Greek government supports the uh, global effort to mitigate the causes of the, of the climate crisis. It's good that the US and the, uh, the United States of America, that the, uh, Mr. Biden's presidency is again in the lead of this global uh, effort because gives the right uh, message, sends the, the right uh, message and uh, I think that uh, all together we can uh, succeed.